Conditions are kind of unusual today. We've got summer, humidity, and then we've got storms later. How is that going to affect the races going on? Well, it, we'll take it as it comes. I think that, you know, as you put a raincoat for the walk over and got wet from the sweat, you know, that's kind of what just happened. But hopefully it'll hold out. I would love to similar racetrack for the Oaks this afternoon. I'm interested in your perspective, this being the so-called first back-to-normal derby yes. because of COVID. As a horseman looking up at this crowd, what does this mean to you today? Uh, the excitement all week has been tremendous. I mean, it's got everybody ready for it and on edge. And just what a beautiful way to celebrate horse racing. And you're celebrating right now That's the winner's circuit. Good way, way, way to go. Time. Absolutely. Thank very you. nice. Thank you Thank very you much. Very much. Best of luck it. to you later. Thank you. Thank you. How satisfying is it for this Philly to finally get her grade one with uh, the and everything? Just so many things come into it. You know, just a, a nice Philly early that just continuously competed and got better. And she came back a four year old. I mean, all three of her races this year have been tremendous. And it's so satisfying for her to get a grade one win on Oaks Day. She, was, she did her best last Last year in the Oaks, and you can just see the improvement one year has made it. Well, you got a Pauline's Pearl suit, anyways. There you, know? you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pauline's Pearl yeah, tennis shoes. Pearl. That's what we got. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Watching the race set up and watching her make her run down the stretch, how, how confident were you that she was going to be able to, to, to get there? I, I was worried every step of the way. I was hoping Ava's Grace would pressure She Dares the Devil, the only horse on paper that it appeared to. And you could tell when they left the gates, Dave. That Cohen was going to set the set the pop, the trip, and uh, Joel did a wonderful move going into the first turn, a touch wide, but put her in position. And then when they lined out down the backside, she had her chance and proved narrowly best. She's not even to the spit box yet, but what makes sense to think about for a next? Uh... Well, we have the beautiful luxury of keeping her and Clarier separate. To have two older Grade One mares like that. Well, you know, pick and choose. How beautiful is that? Good problems to have. As good as it gets. As good as it gets. You had obviously her races are faster this year than they were last year. How about just visually when you see her perform? Oh, I, I think the, the physical that she is now. She's grown up. She's filled out into that frame. You know, just a, a wonderful pedigree. And that, you know, that on a sound belly is continuous, continuously getting faster. Well, he said he thought he had a good trip, good comfortable trip, and um, I don't know that there's much of an excuse. I mean, you know, it looks like we're just uh, a link behind that filly in our last start and a half link behind today. So, um, you know, it was a good effort, just wasn't a winning effort.